Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Thoughts of a Rambler Mind. This episode is going to be about COVID-19, vaccine, Delta virus, and uh, subjects in between. CDC has just released that people should be wearing masks even when indoors. New York City saying that the mask policy will be coming back. Um, and this is for even with vaccinated individuals. They're also saying that if you have cold symptoms of any kind, that you should go get tested for the coronavirus, even if you've been vaccinated. And so it leads me to wonder, what was the point of the vaccine, mandating vaccines to the masses? Why do we mandate that everyone has a vaccine if there is no difference in the response to the virus for people with, who've been vaccinated already? I understand that many people follow the guidance of the government, and I'm not one of those people that believe in conspiracies, because if you go down conspiracy rabbit holes, what happens is you start to believe everything is not true. And when you start to believe everything is not true, everything is not real, you actually become um, what is considered to be insane, or at least heading towards insanity. Because something has to be real. You have to be able to find basis in reality in order to be a sane person. Um, however, governments are run with principles, policies, and procedures. Right? They're rules to how governments are run. So whenever you see something being done blatantly outside of the rule book, you know, outside of the norm, it should put question marks in your mind. Now, some of you may not be old enough to be able to um, recognize when things are outside of the norm, and I don't fault you for that, you know, but if you're not old enough to recognize the patterns in our government, then I would just say to you younger folk, um, you should take a seat and observe the ones that are older than you, because as the world progresses, I'm noticing that the youth are taking the lead on um, what is right, what is wrong, and what should be happening in the world because a lot of change is happening and so the youth spearhead the change, which is a normal thing. However, without wisdom, you're leading to folly. So um, let's listen to the elder generations and how they show you because in this situation, we've had a vaccine come um, with no bunnies dying, no rabbits dying, no frogs dying, no monkeys dying. You know what I'm saying? That means this thing wasn't tested, right? It didn't go through animal trials, didn't go through human trials, didn't go through any trials. It just went directly to the public. And honestly, it wasn't even a new created vaccine. It was a vaccine that they already had for treating another disease. So I'm not surprised that it does not work. What I'm surprised at is that it hasn't killed more people than it already has. We as a community, we as a, a society, we have to recognize that our government has been infiltrated by capitalism. Capitalism is desire to succeed. Capitalism is the ability to succeed on the backs of others. You know, capitalism is competition. In a capitalist society, in an ideal capitalist society, everybody competes to be the best and the consumer decides and determines who succeeds and who fails based on the quality of the service and the quality of the product in an ideal capitalist society. However, in a perverted capitalist society, which is what we live in, the producers manipulate the public into choosing winners and losers that the producers have decided they want to win. You see, in our society, our government picks the winners and losers and then brainwashes the public through commercial and advertisement and marketing in order to make the public think that they want something that, one, is not healthy for them, two, is not good for their financial well-being, buy it often as, as they promote us to buy them. 
So we have to understand that that in the world that we live in, in the world that we live in, we have to be aware. Um, and I just feel like most people have rushed into this vaccination process. Most people have inserted themselves with something that could have taken their lives. Inserted themselves with something that could have taken the lives of those around us. See, one thing's for sure. What you're taking is not a vaccine for the COVID-19 virus. Because a vaccine is a small sample of that virus. That's how vaccines work. So, if after taking the COVID-19 virus, you take a test and you're negative for COVID-19, then you have not taken a vaccine for that virus. Now, that's something just to leave with your mind, let you think upon that, let it meddle around in your head. I'm going to make this a short one, you know, thoughts of a rambling mind. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm out.